Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Also, the secret lives, lives of local musicians. A musician and author will be here to tell us all about his new book called Life's a Good Gig, a Gringo Musician's Journey into the World of Latin Music. But it's so much more than that, too. It's all about, yes. it's all about just, you know, the local scene and going from gig to gig. Right. He is a local author and musician who can sing in five different languages. John Kane, though, will be here to talk about his new book in English. A local musician takes us into the world of local musicians. John Kane's here to talk to you about his new book called Life's a Good Gig. <laughs> Hello, we're on. He, he is a musician who can play lots of instruments from his guitar to the harmonica. He is now uh, taking on writing as a profession. Author and local musician John Kane joins us to talk about his book, and it's called Life's a Good Gig. Welcome. Thank you for having me today. The, the book it goes all over the place, doesn't it? It does. Just it, like your life has gone all over the place. It is. You know, it's sort of a, uh, like a concerto has three movements. The book has about three themes running through it. I love some of these things. The, the subtitle is A Gringo's Musician's Journey into the World of Latin Music. You're originally from Seattle? I'm originally from Seattle, and you probably can't tell from looking at me, but I'm a gringo. <laughs> And uh, it sticks right out there. Somewhere. You know, I grew up uh, listening to all the same music that uh, Americans always listen to mm -hmm. rock and roll, jazz, Broadway show sure. tunes. When my family moved to San Diego for the first time, we heard beautiful, enchanting music coming from Mexican radio stations yeah, sung in right. Spanish. And I grew up to become. A musician, even though I'm an Anglo-American, I became a musician who performs many genres of Latin music, right. even performing in Spanish and Portuguese. Now, I was going to say, it's not just the instrument. You sing in five different languages, is that? If you count uh, Pig Latin. Pig Latin. That's one of them. Okay, four and a half then? I kid. Four, <laughs> okay, five languages. How many instruments do you play? Um, Have you piano, counted bass, yeah. guitar, harmonica, accordion. I'm also a composer and arguably a singer. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to ask you because I'm sure, and, and it is in the book, uh, it's not an easy life sometimes. I mean, you've been, you've been out there where it's day in and day out and every night. I mean, is it always a good time or is it? You know, it's very hard. And one of the themes about this book is that it's not about celebrity famous musicians. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of history books are written about famous generals and leaders like Napoleon and George Washington, mm -hmm. but they never write about the grunt soldier who's doing their dirty work on the front lines. And there are a lot of them in San Diego, aren't there? Yes, there is. Yeah, there, there truly is. So it's the same in music. You know, a lot of books about the famous composers and celebrity musicians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to write about the non-famous working musicians, like a lot of the guys I've known yeah. and worked with right and here in San, in San Diego. Diego. Yes, uh -huh. uh, these are very talented and unique people, and right. I felt their story needed to be told. You know Dave Scott, right? Uh, I was own weather guy. I do. He's one of the finest musicians, like world class trombone player. He's so good he can play Nola in a phone booth. <laughs> That joke is explained in the book. In the book. And he's a great <laughs> singer, by the way. He makes Harry well, and, Connick Jr. look like a punk. And, and you know what? It's fun. It's fun. Because I bring him up only because there are so many great musicians that never leave San Diego. I mean, this town is, is full of beautiful, wonderful live music, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Uh, many genres. Uh, there's a great country western subculture of musicians, a lot of wonderful jazz musicians, mm -hmm. and the Latin music scene is very vibrant here. I hear this, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm dropping things over here, but the book, it, it has its funny moments. It also has its educational moments. It is. I, it's uh, educational and entertaining. I like to call it edutainment, mm -hmm. if you will. It gives a, a, a history of American music and Latin American music and how these Two musical cultures have been intertwining and influencing each other uh, over the years. Who is this aimed at? Who would you like for, to read You this? know, I think any parent who has a kid who thinks they want to be a musician would yeah. benefit from reading this book. Right. Because it tells it like it is. Yeah. It's out there. You can get an idea of what you're getting into. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and just any, anyone that, that hits the road or wants to hit the road themselves as well and, and do this for a living, right? Yeah. And I think it's, um, 
anybody who's interested in the life of musicians would find it interesting, yeah. and, and it's a fun read, it I hope. It is entertaining. It is entertaining read. Uh, tell me uh, how you can get a hold of it. Well, you can go to the website, www. W.lifesagoodgig.com. Yeah. Lifesagoodgig.com, or just go to our website later in the day and we'll have more information about this as well. Is it at local bookstores yet? It will be by Christmas. Okay. But okay. now you can uh, get it at uh, uh, a lot of uh, book signing and meet the author events that I'm Which doing. Which is coming up. Tell, tell uh, us tomorrow about. I'll okay. be up in Glendale at the Brand Library and Arts Center okay. uh, doing uh, an event up there. All right. And, uh, I'd like to say, you know, life's a good gig. It's a, a book. There's a CD. And it's also a philosophy of life. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, when you're an artist and a musician and you do it for a living, you realize that it's your entire life. So you have to make your life a good gig. And life's a good gig is also a T-shirt. Uh, well, of course. And here's your complimentary Look life's a good life's gig T-shirt and your gig. unofficial <laughs> membership badge. All right. Because there is no club. But <laughs> it's there anyway. Even if I'm not a musician, huh? No. All right, John. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What a I'm, pleasure. Thank I'm you for having me. I'm looking forward to reading the book and getting to know you better. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much.